Today, I'll take you through a comprehensive breakdown of all the Shopify plans so you can choose the right one for your business. Let's do it. If you're not familiar with what Shopify is, I wanna give you a very brief description. Shopify is the largest e-commerce platform in the world and it hosts some of the largest brands in the world. And so whether you're a brand new beginner, you're wanting to get started, or you already have a brand that you maybe wanna move over to Shopify, uh, it is a great solution for businesses of all sizes and types. I've been personally using Shopify for about seven years and sold tens of thousands of products on the platform. And I believe it's the easiest platform to use and offers the most flexibility and most features and options again, for all types of businesses. Shopify is a place where you can build your website, you can host your store and your cart, you can manage all your inventory, connect up different apps to do different things related to marketing and all kinds of different options. And it's really an all-in-one solution for almost any type of e-commerce business. Now, most businesses on Shopify are gonna be focused on physical products, but Shopify does handle some digital product businesses uh, depending on what you're doing. So let's take a look at the plans. Shopify offers three main types of plans, and there's a few more we'll cover in a minute, but I wanna go over the features and pricing with you so that you understand everything about these pr plans and which one is right for you. So starting with the pricing, you're gonna see the basic plan at 39 per month, the Shopify plan at 105 per month, and the advanced plan at 399 per month. And actually, if we pay yearly, we're gonna save 25%. So if you click this little tab right here, and that's gonna make the basic plan $29 per month, the Shopify plan $79 per month, and the advanced plan $299 per month. Now I work with thousands of students each month in our programs and across our live events. And one of the questions I get asked the most is what Shopify plan should I select when I'm just starting out? So if you're wanting to start up a brand new store, I would highly recommend that you just go with the basic plan. You definitely don't need the Shopify plan or the advanced plan when you're just starting out. And these are gonna be for larger e-commerce businesses. So let's go through the most important features. On the basic plan, you're gonna see credit card rates of 2.9% plus 30 cents USD per transaction. So that means anytime you make a sale, you're going to pay a credit card fee of 2.9% plus an additional 30 cents. Now, if you are a business that's selling in person, that's gonna drop to 2.7% plus a zero cent transaction fee uh, in person. So if you have a physical location or you're selling at an event or on site, uh, that's gonna drop a little bit from the online rate. You're also gonna get access on the basic plan to basic reports, up to a thousand inventory locations, up to a 77% shipping discount. So if you're shipping your own items, uh, not using something like drop shipping or print on demand, but actually making or shipping your own items, you'll get a shipping discount when you generate the labels through Shopify. And you also get two staff accounts. So if you as the owner, and then maybe an employee or someone you work with needs access to Shopify, you'll have the ability to give them up to one additional Shopify account in addition to yourself. Hey, by the way, if you're enjoying this video, would you mind just tapping on the like button? That just helps us get this video out to more people and it helps us grow the channel overall. So we greatly appreciate it. Moving over to the Shopify plan, which is this middle plan right here, it's at $105 per month monthly. Again, if you go to yearly, that's gonna drop to 79. The basic plan is gonna drop to 29. And let's look at some of the features of this. The biggest feature, the probably the, the biggest standout feature that's gonna give you the most value is the credit card rate drop. So it's gonna drop from 2.9% to 2.6%. That's 0.3% drop, uh, plus you still have that 30 cent transaction fee when you sell online. As far as in person, you're gonna get a 0.2% drop from 2.7% down to 2.5% and then zero cent transaction fee. In addition to that, this is another big one. You're gonna get access to professional reports. The, the basic reports you get on just the basic Shopify plan, they're not the best in the world. Now there are additional apps and different things you can use to track some of your, uh, some of your data in Shopify, but this is a pretty big upgrade with the professional reports. You'll get access to a lot of really useful data that can help you grow your business. You're also gonna get up to a thousand inventory locations, the same as the basic plan. Your shipping discount will jump from 77% up to 88%. So again, if you're shipping your own items, this will give you a little bit more of a shipping discount over the basic plan. And then you're gonna now get up to five staff accounts, meaning if you have additional employees or contractors that need access to your Shopify account, now you can have yourself 
plus four additional uh, people able to access your Shopify account. I've done the math on these credit card rate discounts to let you know kind of what is the point in revenue when this really starts to make sense to go up to the Shopify plan and get these credit card discounts because that's really the biggest benefit. You can probably live without the professional reports, the 88% discount or the, the staff accounts. Those are smaller features but this credit card rate can really start to save you some money. And the point that in your business where you would probably wanna consider this Shopify plan is somewhere around the $20,000 per month uh, threshold. So if you're making about $20,000 per month in revenue uh, or more, you would definitely wanna consider going from the basic plan up to the Shopify plan, because it's actually gonna start to save you money uh, at that point with this 0.3% discount. So again, if you're doing $20,000 per month or more, or just keep that number in your mind if you're starting your business and you get to that $20,000 per month uh, threshold, or that, that level, you probably wanna consider going up to the Shopify plan because this 0.3% discount really start to save you money as you scale up beyond that. Lastly, taking a look at the advanced plan, you can see it's for medium to large businesses right here. These are probably gonna be in that you know million dollar plus range in my estimation. This is gonna be 299 per month uh, if you're paying yearly. If you're doing monthly, that's gonna be 399 per month. So there's a $100 difference there in the monthly and yearly plan. So you're gonna see that your credit card rates are gonna drop again 0.2% down to 2.4% plus 30 cents per transaction, 2.4% in person. So there's actually no difference there other than the transaction fee. Then you're gonna get the custom report builder, which can allow you to be really, really specific on the types of reports and type of, types of data that you wanna get. You're gonna have the same thousand inventory locations, 88% shipping discount, same as the regular Shopify plan. And now it's gonna jump to 15 staff accounts. So generally businesses in this category are going to have a lot of different employees that might need access to the Shopify account. So that could be a benefit. So again, just to reiterate for 99% of people watching this video and 99.9% .9 of people I work with uh, on a daily basis, I would recommend the basic plan. There's really not any point uh, that I would see for you going with the regular Shopify plan if you're not already at kind of that $20,000 per month plus threshold. And by the way, I do wanna make you aware of a special offer right now for Shopify. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description, but if you go over to shirtschool.com slash Shopify, you can actually get a three day free trial and then you can get $1 per month for three months. So this allows you about 90 plus days to try out Shopify for only $3. So if you use our link, you'll get access to this special offer. You can click it down in the description or just go over to shirtschool.com slash Shopify. Take advantage of this great offer because I don't know how long it'll be available. If we look a little deeper at all of the features that are offered between these three plans, I wanna point out just a few differences. The big thing here going from the basic plan here to the standard plan that wasn't listed above is this access to e-commerce automations. It says automate manual tasks, build workflows, and grow your business with the first built-in e-commerce automation platform. You can see it's not offered on the basic plan, but it is offered on the standard plan and the advanced plan. So who would this be valuable to? I know it's a little fuzzy on maybe what that is as you're reading that, but Shopify allows you to set up some automation, some flows to do th different things in your business that might save you some manual work or save you some time. The best way to think about these e-commerce automations would be to think of them kind of as a Zapier type tool. Zapier allows you to connect all these different softwares and basically do whatever your mind can think to kind of automate different tasks in your business. And that's essentially what this kind of does here. It will integrate with a number of different apps. Uh, one that's notable is Klaviyo, which is a email marketing platform where you can automate things back and forth from Shopify and Klaviyo. So there's a number of different things you can do with this that might be of value to you as your business is growing. Again, you start to get to that 20, 30, 40, $50,000 Per, per month mark and your business becomes more complex. There's more things you need to think about, maybe more staff you have and more things that need to be automated. And this would be a feature that would help you uh, as your business grows. And as we scroll through this page, there's not a whole lot that you're gonna see that is gonna be really different between these different plans. Another thing you'll notice here is some different shipping uh, discount availabilities here for USPS Priority Mail Cubic 
pricing and that kind of thing here. So you'll see that on the Shopify plan and the advanced plan, but there's nothing super notable here that wasn't listed up in the top. The last thing I wanna show you here is a few alternative plans if you have uh, a different kind of business that might fit one of these categories. The first one is the starter, the starter plan. This is $5 per month, and this is going to be for anybody who just wants, wants to sell exclusively through social and messaging apps. An example of this would be if you have an Instagram and Facebook page and you set up Facebook and Instagram shops, which means that you're selling only through the Facebook platform and through the Instagram platform, you're not referring people out to your website, you're actually selling your products on in your posts on those social media platforms, you could actually get a starter account for just $5 per month, which would allow you to set up those Facebook and Instagram shops on the social media platforms and sell on social. To be clear, this would not include an online store or a website. This would only be if you want to tag your products and sell on social media. And lastly is the Shopify Plus plan starting at $2,000 per month. You can see it says an all-in-one solution for high volume businesses. So if you're doing multiple millions of dollars in sales and you need a custom solution, a custom store built with custom coding and custom automation options and different things like that, this would be something to look into. This is going to allow you to connect with a Shopify representative that will actually build a custom plan for you. You can see starting at $2,000 per month. So if you are watching this and you have a bigger business and you're needing a custom solution, uh, this would be where you wanna start. I hope this was super helpful today. And I just wanna remind you, if you are starting out with Shopify, you're wanting to start up a new Shopify store, I would highly recommend that you stick with that basic plan. And I'd also highly encourage you to take advantage of the current promotion for Shopify by going to shirtschool.com slash Shopify. That's gonna give you a three day free trial and then $1 per month for your next 90 days, allowing you to try out Shopify for 90 days for only $3. So definitely go check that out and see you next week.